Hello everyone, my name is Shen Chong. I'm so glad to be here to introduce DSI 2590 Atlas and how to publish the data from DSI 2590 Atlas to the Ideas Trans Internet platform for you. I will demonstrate a simple example of a water sensor so that everyone can learn to use this new evaluation board faster. Now, here we go. This is the example to be introduced today, DSI 2498 Flood Monitoring and Flood Gate Controlling. The detailed information of DSI 2598 Plus is listed below, including the chip and cord it used. The biggest feature of DSI 2598 Plus is that has a BIoT function, and it can compatible with the Arduino IDE development environment. In this example, we need a DSI 2598 Plus, a water sensor, a MG996 R servo motor, and a few of 2.9. This case is suitable for our mandate factory. It can effectively monitor the environmental parameters of the factory. Also, make reaction to emergency and prevent equipment and factory from damage. Using the water sensor to detect the flood point area near the factory, then the sensor transmits a signal of whether it is flooded to the board which can drive the motor of the flood gate. Finally, we can remote monitor flooding information on the website, which is transmitted by the SI2598 Plus. Let's introduce the example today. To make this flood monitoring example, you need a DSI2598 Plus. A water sensor, a MG996R motor, and some 2.9s or jumper cables. We need to connect all the sensor to the DSI2598 first. You can see the three lines of the motor. The red one is BCC, the orange one is PWM, and the brown one is ground. Now connect the ground to ground. BCC to fire mode. PWN to pin 8. The pin 8 means PB8 or B8. After connecting the motor, we need to connect the water sensor. There are three pins on the water sensor, which are X, plus, and minus. Connect S to P9. First to 3 volt. And minus to ground. Finally, put the SIM card into DSI2598 Plus. There is a card connector hinge on the board. Open it and put the card in it. And now we complete the wiring of the example. Let's introduce the code of flood monitoring example. This code is about the water sensor and motor controlling. And there are some points you need to know. The first point is your MQTT access token. This is the user password and you can get it from Ideas Trans platform. I will show you how to get it during the demonstration. And this part defines the signal from DSI2598 Plus to Ideas Trans platform. If the water sensor detects flooding, the SI2590 Plus will send the information to the platform. The platform will display the number 1. However, if the water sensor doesn't detect flooding, the platform will display the number 0. And the header profile is about MQTT and base station connecting. And there is a point you need to know. You can see the internet.iot in this code. This is the appropriate APN of the service provider in my area. 
you need to change it to years. I will provide you with this code and more detailed explanation. We finished the part of wearing and the code. Now I want to introduce Ideas Trend Platform to everyone. You can publish the information to this platform and you can remote monitor the information on the website. Okay, let's enter the web page of Ideas Trend. After clicking the button Data Platform, you can enter the home page. Click the device and click the button with plus on the button right. Now you can add a new device after entering a name and the device topic. You can do the same step to build a new access by clicking the access button on the upper left. Do you remember the access token we discussed earlier? Now click the device and find the copied access token button. Click in and you can get your token. Now we finish everything, let's start to try it. Prepare the hardware of the example and a glass of water to simulate the front phone area. Find the last test, the lemon tree button and click it in your device. Now put the water sensor into the water. After putting it in the water, you will see that the motor runs and the platform display the number 1. This means that the flood gets closed and the platform receives a flood signal. If you take the sensor out, You will see that the motor runs again and the platform displays the number 0. This means that the flood gate opened and the platform receives the on flood signal. Thanks for your listening. I hope you can learn how to use the 2598 Plus from this example.